Welcome back, everybody. The History Guy here. Time to continue on playing the very first time through the British campaign on Ultimate Admiral Age of Sail. This is episode four. If you did not see the first three episodes, there's a link in the description below. Also, please remember to subscribe and hit that little bell uh, to get notifications every time there's new content uh, for this or for any of my a current video series. We're about to take the murderous Henry out for a spin for the first time, but before we do that, uh, I want to give a shout out to our viewers who pointed out to me that at least on the uh, the one deck, I'm guessing this is the lower deck, uh, we can actually go all the way up to 12 pounders. And so we've gone to the 12 pounder Armstrong guns, which you can see here uh, have incredible performance. Now on the surface, as you look at this, there's not really much difference in the damage caused by the 12 pounder Bogart gun versus the 12 pounder Armstrong's guns but if you look deeper you can see here penetration is 10 at 500 feet looking at this one penetration is 20 at 500 feet uh, now the accuracy is not quite as good but we're going to count on being at close range anyway so uh, that meant though that because of the weight of these Armstrong guns I had to switch to a lighter gun up top uh, which is not as good a performing uh, piece but you know, we'll take that uh, kind of trade-off. We're pretty close on weight. I don't know that there's anything we can do here. Um, we've got this double hull frame, which would be huge. But you can see that puts us over on weight because it r reduces the weight that I can have available to me. So uh, we might try something else. Let's take a look and see what else there is. Sales hit points. Uh, our rudder turn speed, that might be really helpful. Cannon weight on board is reduced by 10%. That actually might be really helpful. So let's do that. And you can see it improved my speed, acceleration, and turning because it lowered the weight. Um, so I guess in theory, we can probably go back up to these 6-pounder Armstrong guns because of the weight we've got available. So there you have that. We've still got 16,000 gold available. But I don't really think I need to spend that right now. So let's take Murderous Henry out for a spin. We've got a couple of different options as far as where we can do that. 50% uh, chance of success. So this is actually, I think, a mission where we're just sending someone out. We're not actually uh, doing something. So uh, I guess we're not going to do that for now. Let's go ahead and play second wave. Now, as I've mentioned many times already in this short uh, parts of the series that we've done, I do not have my sea legs yet. I'm much better on land. I've got a lot of experience uh, in this game engine with land fighting. Not so much with sail. So you guys have been giving me some helpful hints. I'm going to try my best to put those into practice. But do expect me to make mistakes. I'm just going to hope that the power of my ship can help me overcome uh, my poor ability in this way. So the weather favored us, sir. We have successfully reached the area mentioned in the Admiral's order. Straight ahead, Captain. Spaniards. All right, we've got four ships. Caught them with their pants down. We'll find Spaniard troops on those merchants. So we've got to take these guys out before they make a landing. Now you can see we do have the advantage as far as the side that they're on. I'm going to try to work on my turning and kind of making sure that my stern is not exposed to him those sorts of things but I am still learning this is going to take me some time we've got to eliminate this fleet we've got eight hours to do it so I feel like that should be enough time now I don't know if going to the chain shot is going to reduce my yeah, it does reduce the range, but that's okay. These guys are smaller ships, so I would expect them to be more agile and to be able to operate better and turn better than I can, so we're going to try to reduce that, I guess, as best we can. Although, you know, I'm thinking with ships this size, maybe I'm just better off to go with solid shot. We are kind of turning into the wind as we get at them here. Let's go after the big one first, Senora de Soledad. De la Soledad. Soledad. 
So we had six that deflected. One that hit a mast, I'm guessing that is, and four that hit his sails. No, that's not what I wanted to do. So those are his landing ship, uh, landing craft there. I don't know if that's what we need to go after first. I would guess it is. Nice. So it definitely caused some damage there. Careful here. Let's get some grape shot going. Canister fire. That didn't do nearly what I was hoping it would. I think we'll stick to solid for now. Now we gotta watch the gamo. He's trying to get in behind me. now that's what they're trying to do as well oh beautiful so I am yeah I'm turning right into where there's no wind so that's why I, let's get the sails gone completely now we can start lighting them up from both sides very quickly going to try to turn. Don't want to expose our stern to him any longer than I have to. out we were able to do that just before he was able to reload let's 
Slow down here, boys. Nice. Tricky part's gonna be catching up to these troop ships. But I guess I should be okay. I don't know why it would give me seven hours if it was gonna give me a trouble give me a problem with that. These two ships are just about done. Oh, beautiful. Blow them out of the water. All right, they surrendered. We're gonna send a, a unit over there to board. We're gonna blow this one out of the water. Oh yeah, there went one of their masts. Gamma was sunk. All right, there we go. Let's get underway. Forget those guys. Now we've got to get after these other ships. Let's go, Murderous Henry. Pursue. Forget them. Let them float around. They aren't hurting me. Santiago El Mayor and San Pedro. A couple of troop ships. I have to get up nice and close on these ones. Oh, really close, it seems. What is this coming in? Another ship. Should get a little closer. Beautiful. We're gonna have to take out the Akia as well. Akila.
one more volley should do it. All right, murderous Henry, let's do this. Oh, this is about to be a problem here. Oh, they're going to board that one. Oh, he's coming up to pick up the, the crew. All right, let's steer clear of them if we can. We don't. We only have two guns, it appears. Well, maybe a few more on this side. This one should be about sunk. Oh, it is sunk. Okay. One to go. Alright, let's get these guys out of here. The best we can. Try to stay away from him. We need to catch up to the San Pedro. more men on board by the time I get caught up to him, but that's okay. Alright, here we go. Still six and a half or six hours to go. Nicely done, murderous Henry. Oh, those guns are beautiful. We are going to have to take on the Aquila, but I don't think that should be an issue. Okay, he's a little faster than me. Let's get caught up. All you guys are getting onto a ship that's about to sink. I hope you realize that. Got to get a little closer, get caught up.
lovely. San Pedro is going under. There we go. Now everybody's going to transfer to the Aquila. Forget the crew. Go after the ship. Oh, they're going for sure. Yep, go to that deserted island. Great idea. Henry indeed. They're all right on the shore now. We could go over there and start shelling them, I guess. But the goal here is to eliminate the enemy fleet. So that's what we're going to do. I don't know if he's trying to get away or what, but... escape, isn't he? That should be as good as winning, no? No, he's not going to escape. He's just going to turn now. No, he is escaping. Oh, it's not going to let him. <laughs> You gotta get back in the map, sir. So I can finish you. Yeah, you gotta go this way. Seventh rate brig, 18 guns. Shouldn't be a problem. Makes it a lot easier when you don't otherwise know what you're doing. That's for sure. Don't you get away from me.
Oh, dude. Wow. That'll do it. Big victory for the murderous Henry. Very nice. Took on five ships with 555 crew. All combined, though, they only had as many guns as we did. We sank three. We captured one. Took out 333 crew. We only lost five crew members in the process. And we captured the Senora de la Soledad. Not a whole lot else to report. Beautiful. Very happy with that. That'll get my confidence up in sea battles a little bit. Now, if I had been up against somebody that was my strength, might have been a different story. Okay. So where does that put us? We've actually got another battery. You are to escort your old ship securely to Belize where all prizes are being gathered. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look. We've got another one, Hunter and his prey. It seems clear now that the Spaniards had chosen to cut off supplying uh, from the sea instead of attacking our squadron. Our soldiers tried to secure an inland supply of fresh provisions, struggling first with the wet, hot climate, the mosquitoes, and the yellow fever. Before a Spanish patrol comes after, the Admiral has decided to pay the Spaniards with the same coin. I was assigned to command a flotilla on a patrol mission, intercepting any transport or merchant enemy vessel. In the meantime, let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, we do have streamlined hull leverage assisted rudder tackle available to us. We're always going to try to stay up on the research whenever possible. Uh, nothing any better than the Hermione class currently available for us to purchase. Not that we'd have the money for it anyway. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look. 174 for repairs. That's not bad at all. Uh, otherwise, I think we're pretty good all the way along. We're going to need a few new crew to get back to optimal strength. But uh, I feel pretty good about that. Let me know your thoughts. Use the comment section below. I know there's still a lot I can do better. Uh, we're going to hold off on spending that career point until we get to the next mission. Um, I've got the Victoria Medal uh, for those who have distinguished themselves in times of war. Very cool. Uh, so let me know your thoughts. Use the comment section below. Drop a like if you would. And we will see you again next time with some more Ultimate Admiral Age of Sail. Thanks for watching.